Welcome to the next video in our series on our statement of faith. And this video will be dedicated to humanity. So let me read this article. We believe that God created Adam and Eve in his image, without sin and with a divine purpose. This image was distorted, though not destroyed, when Adam sinned. In union with Adam, humanity is sinful by nature and by choice, alienated from God and under God's wrath. You know, this article um, emphasizes many things that are unpopular in our culture. It affirms the fact that Adam and Eve were real people and they acted as our representatives. God created them without sin and with a divine purpose, but this was ruined by Adam's choice to disobey God. Because Adam sinned and he's our representative, we were all born into sin. And this is one of those things our society has a very hard time with. Because according to the Bible, we stand condemned, not just by the actual sin that we do, but by the nature with which we were born. Psalm 51, five states, surely I was sinful at birth. I was sinful from the time my mother conceived me. And you know, we all like to think that mankind is essentially good. However, every time we read the news, we realize this cannot be true. You do not need to teach a baby how to be bad. They, they naturally have figured that out, right? You need to teach them how to be good. Sin has distorted the image of God, but it has not destroyed it. We know this because in Genesis 9, 6, after the fall, God told Noah uh, to not murder because mankind is created in God's image. In other words, we still retain the image of God after the fall. And this is the basis for human rights and human dignity, a basis I would like to point out that does not exist apart from the Bible. So as a result of the sin nature, we have been separated from God and are now objects of God's wrath. And for many, this term wrath seems outdated and extreme. But wrath is a perfectly appropriate term when we realize who God is. So some people think that God is 100% holy. And if only, if Adam only committed one sin and a minor sin at that, well, then we can look at Adam as like 99% holy. But holiness is a binary condition. Either you are holy or you're not. Like pregnancy. Like you can't be 60% pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not. So Adam's disobedience made him 0% holy, the exact opposite of God. Therefore, if God's holiness represents the pinnacle of happiness, then Adam's condition and ours is at the exact opposite extreme, not happiness, but wrath. Now, our previous statement of faith did not mention sin or man's condition at all. And you know what? If you don't think your sin is very great, then you don't think you have need of a Savior, one who rescues you from the effects of sin. And at Union Church, we recognize that our sin is great and our Savior is great. Thank you.